Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to explore a very simple and resource-like method for arranging multiple particular events without overlapping. I've used this method to create a really cool condensation effect as you can see here. The complete file is of course available on my Patreon, just like all my other projects. You can see here another one where I'm using the physics system for another packing effect of course available as well on Patreon, but today we will focus on the method used for the condensation effect. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we are in 3 Max, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a sphere like this for the creation of my drop of the particle. So I cannot go to front view, add a FFD modifier box, select control point, and I will start to creating the look of my drop. So I select all here, and I will do something like this, I think. Like this, oh, okay. Perfect. I can add a turbo smooth. Okay, great. Now I will move the drops on the left. I can add a plane. The plane will be the surface for the creation of all the drops. So I can add the type to setup. Open editor. Move the windows here on the left. I will add a burst. 0, 0 and maybe 10 particle. I can now add a position object and pick my plane. Okay, so we have here 10 drops on the surface, but we don't see anything. So I will change the display to geometry. Select here my drop and add the shape operator. And click on add selected. I cannot delete this one, remove. Okay, so you can see here 10 particles on the surface. I don't like the position of the particle on the plane, so I will go here in position object and play with the seed. Okay, maybe something like this. You can see that the particles are all the same and I don't like the scale, so I will add a scale operator here. Play with the scale. I will now decrease a bit the size, 70. If I want to flatten a bit the drops, I can just deactivate here and decrease a bit the Z axis, maybe 50, maybe too much, 60, and play a bit with the scale variation. So I will click on uniform and maybe set value of 20. Okay. Maybe more, 25. Okay, I think it's good like this. You can see 10 particles on the surface with different scale. It's perfect. Okay, now if you want to add more particles and you don't want overlapping, what you can do is to add a fuse. So if I increase my number of particles in the burst, maybe 100, you can see that I don't have 100 particles on the surface because here I have the fuse. I will select shape reduce and you can see here the multiplier. Okay, so if I don't want overlapping, generally a value of one is a good value. You can see here just a bit overlapping, so I can maybe increase a bit the value. 1.1. Okay, I think it's good like this. I will now just go back to a lower value for the total of particles, maybe 50, 40. Okay. Great, 1.5, perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is to add a lot of particles and have control on the position of this particle to have no overlapping. So I will add for the amount of particle group for this one, for this event, particle group here. And for this event, I will select the value of one for the simulation group. Now what I will do is to copy this event, so copy and past. I don't need here the particle group and the fuse for the moment. I will just reactivate the event. Maybe change the color to a violet, like this. I can go to the position object to change the seed. Okay, so now you can see the event 1 with a brown color and the event 2 with a violet color. I can increase the number of particles, maybe 
one front end and of course decrease the scale maybe like this 20 25 okay so now as you can see here we have trouble we have overlapping between the event one and the event two so to fix that i will add a property test and link this property test to a delete okay so as you can see here we don't have any violet particles i will now go here to the property test to make some change so for the test type i will select neighbors 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 here greater to a value of zero okay can see nothing and now all you have to do is to play here in the neighbors menu you can just select particle enable radius overlap and now decrease the radius so you can play with the absolute shape scale personally i like to play with the shape radius so i would select shape the effect don't work what you have to do is to go here in the particle group and select the right simulation group so for this one it's the simulation one I will now select here in property test neighbor simulation one and now I can play here with the multiplier and it's really cool like this. I will just increase a bit my number of particles, maybe add a fuse to to a value of one to see it better, 1.5, decrease a bit the scale, maybe 20. And now I will really increase my total of particles. 10,000. Maybe more. Okay. Decrease a bit the fuse. 1.2. 1.1. And it's perfect. It's a very good effect. You can, of course, go back here in the property test and play with the radius here as you want. It's very cool. Of course, you can go back here and change the seed if you want for the position object. And you will see in live the change. Change my burst, maybe just two particles with a big scale, maybe 150. It's a very cool way to create beautiful packing between two events with a lot of particles. Really cool. Of course, if I want to add again another event, it's possible. I will maybe go here to the fuse, increase the value, the scale here, maybe add variation here in the fuse, okay. I will now go here and select this time simulation group two. Of course, I have to activate the event and I will do the same, copy past change the color here to maybe a yellow like this change the scale maybe 20 link the property test to the delete and now in the property test i will select simulation group one for this event and simulation group two for this one and as you can see if i select simulation group two you can see the effect. I just have to play in the wizard property test. Here, with the multiplier, maybe 1.5. You can see the result with or without the fuse. Of course, without the fuse, I have overlapping, but it could be a very good effect too. But this one, I will reactivate the fuse. And you can control the distance between the particle here in the multiplier, as I said. 1.2 maybe decrease a bit the fuse 1.5 okay great very cool you can see here yeah, very good effect yeah it's very cool like this okay guys so it's over for this tutorial i hope you've learned a lot of things like i said the complete file is available on my patreon along with all my other projects with, with plenty of bonuses and source files feel free to give me a thumb up if you like my work and follow me on beyond or instagram if you want see you very soon for the tutorial guys bye